Hello, this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Let's Play on Pokemon Moon. This is going to be me starting through a full Let's Play of the entire game. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to explain a little bit more about the, the Let's Play later on. But first, um, let me stop this annoying ringing. It looks like uh, I'm getting a video call by the, the looks of things. So, <laughs> let's uh, answer this and uh, find out what's going on. Hang on now. Give me just a sec. Hey there! Good evening! So the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Alola is a region made of several islands. That could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon. Yeah! There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out there in the Alola either. Such mysterious creatures. You find them all over, in the grass, in the caves, in the sky, and in the sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon, and we depend on them heaps too. Some of us even battle with them. If you catch them, then you call yourself a trainer. Rockruff, can you wait until I'm done talking to play? Alright, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So... Which photo shall I use for the trainer passport? Okay, let's uh, let's choose what I don't like then. So, uh, yeah, I am going to be playing Pokemon Moon. The reason I chose Moon rather than um uh, rather than Sun is because I did a vote. I did a vote on Twitter, and it was 51% said Moon. So it was really close. Uh, but that's the the one I'm going for. So I think that I get slightly different Pokemon, and I think it's going to be nighttime more than if I chose the the Sun one. And uh, let's uh, let's choose my name. You all know what my name's going to be. I am going to call myself. Oh no, I'm going to call myself. No, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I'm going to call myself uh, Stampy. I don't know why I'm doing this with the uh, uh, with the the buttons rather than the stylus. But there we go. Stampy. Is that all? spelt right. I, I'm always scared of spelling my name wrong because I always find that would be really embarrassing. I know Stampy's not actually my name, shock horror, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Right then, that's what I'm going to be called the, uh, the entire game. I used to always call myself really silly things in these games, like I'd call myself like an inanimate object, so it would say like I'd call myself like, um, I don't know, um, a candle. And then when you go and click on a TV, it would be like, a candle turned on the TV. And I used to find that really funny. <laughs> anyway, uh... 10-4, good buddy. I'll let everybody out here know that you're on their way. Stampy. Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a thunderbolt out of sky. Woo! Can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. Oh, we're cousins. I didn't know that he was my cousin. Okay, then let's start a, a brand new Pokemon adventure. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to this. I've heard such good things about the game. It came out later in the, the UK than a lot of other places. So I've heard like loads of other people playing it and I've tried just to ignore all of it uh, and just wait until I can start playing myself. Anyway, Stumpy, come and help me with these boxes. Right, this looks like uh, this is where we're, we're going to then. This is the, the, the Alola region. Uh, a brand new place for, for us to explore inside of, uh, of the Pokemon world. Of course, the big thing coming up is I'm going to have to choose my starter Pokemon. And I haven't yet decided who my starter Pokemon's going to be. So that's going to be the big decision for, for this episode, which I'm going to have to, to come up with a, a little bit later on. And oh, look at that! There's a little a little sad face inside of the bag. <laughs> What's going on here? It's cool because I remember playing like the very first Pokemon games. And they didn't really have much of a story. They kind of had a story, but it was mainly just wander around and gather Pokemon. But then I've been playing a few more of the um, the recent ones leading up to, to this Let's Play, and they actually got proper stories in now, which is uh, <laughs> I don't, always surprising for me when playing a Pokemon game. Normally it's just like, set out in the world, try and defeat all the gym leaders, and then, you know, go to the, is it the Hall of Heroes, or whatever it's called. And <laughs> uh, It's been a little while. It's been a little bit uh, of, uh, of time. Right then, so who's, who's she... And what's in that bag? Right then, it started Pokemon Moon, presented by Game Freak. They've been making all of the, the Pokemon games since the uh, the very first red and blue ones a very long time ago. Okay, so that happened three months ago. We're now catching up with the, the present, I guess. And I'm sure we're going to find out who that girl was and what was in the bag and kind of what was going on uh, a little bit later on. I love the look of this world for this one. 
I think it's basically supposed to be Hawaii. I think that's kind of what it's based on. They're always kind of based on something like Pokemon uh, X and Y. It was basically set in France. Like they never said it. It was their own Pokemon version of France, but but it pretty much had Paris and the Eiffel Tower in it. So <laughs> it looks like this one uh, instead is going to be set in Hawaii. And oh, look, it's nighttime, isn't it? So I think the way it works is when it's daytime in the real world, then it's nighttime in the game and then the other way around. So then when it's nighttime in the real world, it's going to be daytime in the game. So, as you can tell, I am playing this in the, the day. Ah, <sighs> could anything be more soothing? The first evening spent under Alola's calm moon. I feel like I could stay out here all night. But that's enough of that. It's time to unpack all of these boxes. Meow, go get Stampy for me, would you? Meow. <coughs> Of course, they don't normally have voice acting, so I'm going to be doing all of the voices, which is uh, something else that I always enjoy doing in these games. <laughs> Going up with a whole load of silly voices for all of the, the, the different characters. And oh, I want that Pikachu toy. That looks adorable. Oh, no, I want the Ditto one. I've changed my mind. Meow. It's a random Nintendo Wii U lying around on the floor. They should have the uh, the Switch there by now, I think. <laughs> Get ready for the, the next one. And I think that's me. That's what I look like. Of course... My hair should be a little bit curlier than that, but you get the idea. <laughs> that actually is pretty accurate to what I'm like in the, the morning. Isn't it like the evening, though? Have I just been sleeping all day? Is that what's going on here? Oh, I didn't realize I actually had to make myself get out of bed. I'm right, here we go. I'm in control. Let me go and strut around my bedroom like I own the place. Well, it's my bedroom. I guess I do own the place. Right, let's, let's start doing some unpacking then. There are moving boxes full of your belongings. So there are. Can I go and look at the Pikachu? Can I play anything? Oh, please. Oh, why isn't it letting me play? Oh, there we go. It's a Wii U. It has a gamepad with a screen. Who would have thought? And here's my little Ditto. The Ditto pillow and poker toy are both covered in Meowth's claw marks. <laughs> I own a cat. I can relate to that. All right, then. Let's go downstairs, then. And instead of sleeping all day, let's go and maybe help my mum unpack the boxes. Oh, there's not many boxes. There's what? Is there, like, two little tiny boxes in the corner? Is that what she was moaning about? You were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. So, Stampy, are you pumped to meet some of the Alolan Pokemon? I guess. <laughs> Let's just be really enthusiastic. Oh, you. Someday you're going to learn to have a little wonder in your life. We're living in a Lola region now. These beautiful islands are the ones that everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? Ah! Was that the doorbell? That's got to be Professor Kuki, I think. Kiki? Kuki? I'm going to go with Kuki. Why don't you let him in, Stampy? I might be pronouncing his name wrong, but I'm going to commit to calling him Kooky. Because even if that is the wrong way to pronounce it, I think that's quite a fun name anyway. And it's my cousin, isn't it? Cousin Kooky. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a, like a breakfast cereal or something. Uh, a big box of Cousin Kooky. Anyway. Hey there, Stampy. The name's Kooky. Good to meet you, cousin. You gotta be tired after that long trip all the way from Alola. You feeling any jet lag? We sure are a long way from Kanto out here in Alola. It's still nighttime out here. Yeah. So you just randomly say like, yeah, after some things. Professor Kuki. Yes, we just arrived yesterday. Hey there, mom. I just let myself in. And oh, call me Kuki, would you? Welcome to Alola. Of course. I still remember seeing you battle in the, uh, in the Indigo Gym Leaders back in Kanto all those years ago, you know. I've been in love with Alolan Pokemon ever since, so I finally decided to come here myself. Ha 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 ha! Hilarious story! I was supposed to be visiting there to research Kanto Pokemon moves and all! I thought I knew a thing or two about battling, but those Kanto gym leaders, they proved me wrong. <laughs> hey now, Stampy! Let's get a move on and go to the next town over! Come on, cousin! It's time for you to meet the island Kuna! Kuna! And get yourself a Pokemon! Yeah! <laughs> a Pokemon? 
<laughs> yeah, sure. The Karuna who lives in Icky Town, Lick 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 Town, is always happy to give you, give any kid who wants to have an adventure with their first first Pokemon. Yeah, but don't try taking on the Karuna yourself. The Kahunas are crazy strong Pokemon trainers. They're unbeatable for folks like you and me. They'll simply give my boy a Pokemon. Then those kahunas are really worth meeting. Hurry and get ready, Stampy. Your bag and hat and things are still in the boxes in your room, I think. And didn't you leave your copy of Adventure Rules on your desk in there too? Oh, I bet you got a styling hat that will match mine, yeah? Stop it, Mum! You're embarrassing me! Stop it! <laughs> I don't know why I found that conversation so funny. I think it was just more the way I read it rather than what it actually said. It's just me messing up all of the time. <laughs> You'll get used to that, trust me. So is this, is this my my adventuring book? My my adventuring rules? Uh, open uh, the X menu with the X button. Makes sense. Uh, record your progress with save. That's the the adventuring rule. Well, let's let's do that then. I don't have uh, many other options right now, but let's save our adventure. I'd hate to lose all of the progress I have made so far. So let's go and make sure we save this. And all right then, let's go and uh, grab my, my hat and things. Uh, you pulled out your bag and your hat. There we go. Now I'm going to look like a proper Pokemon trainer. I feel like I, have I got a red hat. I feel like I should be wearing red. I feel like I should have a red hat. Red's the Pokemon hat color, isn't it? Oh, well, we guess we'll make do with this. Maybe we can switch out hats uh, a little bit later on. All right, then. Let's go and uh, go get my first Pokemon, then. While Meowth tells all of his funny jokes to the, the, the rest of the, the group. You look ready for anything now. Have a good time out there in the middle of the night looking for Pokemon. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up and put away by the time you come back with your new Pokemon. Oh, that's a styling hat, cousin. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, me, Alf, you're so funny with your little squeaky noises that you make. <laughs> your mum there, she's sure looking forward to getting you your first Pokemon, yeah? So let's go into Lick, Licky, Lick, Lick, Icky, Lick. Is that, is that an I or an L at the beginning? Let's call it Icky Town. <laughs> it makes it sound like it's all, it's all just horrible. Let's go to the Icky Town. Time for you to get a real nice Pokemon from Island Kahuna. Oh, yeah! The level of enthusiasm from that man is unbelievable. Well, I'm enthusiastic as well. I'm looking forward to getting my very first Pokemon in Pokemon Moon. So, right then, this is um, this is where I live. So, of course, in Pokemon, you kind of you start off by your house and then kind of just gradually just move out to to new places. It's cool, like how zoomed in the camera is. You know, it feels like a um like a proper third person game. You know, rather than you know overhead views or kind of. Almost overhead, but slightly to the side. Like I feel like I'm, I'm properly me at the at this point. All right then, let's uh, let's go get my my first Pokemon then. Now this is more like it. Yeah, welcome to paradise, cousin. This is the Alola region. Folks here in Alola get along by living together with Pokemon and working together too. After all, you can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you got Pokemon helping you out here. That's why we gotta get you to the Kahuna. First, we'll, we're off to Icky Town. Come on, it's not far. We'll cut up here. All right, on to, on to Icky Town. <laughs> I wonder if, I wonder what the town's actually called. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Look at the sky. Let's go speak to, to this little boy and their dog Pokemon. Hey, you. You look like you're having a great time strolling around Alola. You make me want to dash around too. And I bet I can go even faster than you. Holding B will make me a B dasher and it makes me look pretty dashing too right hold down B okay that's how that's how I run basically can I go can I go this way I probably should just go and get a Pokemon first before going and exploring everywhere the power of science is amazing I s a simple press of a button and you can trade Pokemon or battle with people around you that is pretty incredible. Look at the sky. I'm so glad I got... So I was getting a little bit worried about the moon one, thinking, well, if it's always nighttime, it's always going to be dark. And if I'm on the beach and things, I don't want it to be nighttime. But I think it looks awesome. Like, it's not too dark as well, which was the other worry. So, Stumpy, you loving Alola already? Well, oh, give me a bit of time. I only walked up, like, one path. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, I am. I'm loving it so far. That's what I like to hear. The more you love Alola, the happier you'll be. 
Oh yeah, look there. Looks like an excited Alolan train has come to us. Professor Kuki, uh, Kukui, Kukui. Kukui, Kukui, I think that's what it is. Kukui, uh, you've got to recommend another move for me sometime, please. Why, you already know which moves you want to use, yeah? You come find me next time your Pokemon learns a new move, and then I'll battle you. <gasps> a Pikachu! Is that not exciting? I know I can't, I can't go in the tall grass yet, because I don't have a Pokemon, and I'll just get destroyed. So I need to, to wait until I get one. See that? If you had a Pokemon with you, you could dive into the tall grass here, yeah, to try. To catch some wild Pokemon to add to your team. Well, stop rubbing it in that I don't have a Pokemon then. <laughs> the trainers go up against one another in battle with the Pokemon they love. Come on, Yangoos. Oh, look, that's one of the, like, the Alolan Meowths there, isn't it? How's it? You're the new kid that just flew in. Let's have a Pokemon battle sometime. Having Pokemon gives you a whole new way to communicate with other people, see? Now, let's get moving. Icky Town is right over there. Okay, so it's pretty much the town I live in. We're just, like, on the outskirts of, of Icky Town. So why are we coming to Icky Town? Is this where we're getting our Pokemon from? Is this where the, the gym is? I'm not entirely sure. And here, and we're here. This right here is Icky Town. This town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Melamele Island. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? Huh? What's going on here? We were supposed to meet everybody right here, yeah? Maybe they're all back there at Mahalo Trail. That's where the ruins of our guardian deity Tapu Koko are, yeah? Stumpy, do me a solid and go find the island Kahuna. I'll wait around here to make sure we don't miss each other. The island Kahuna? You can't miss him. He looks just like Kahuna. <laughs> right, so I need to find a Kahuna that looks like a Kahuna. So that's um, <laughs> not helped me a, a great amount. Oh, have I, I found something. I'm scared to wander around too much in case there's- Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute! Stop everything! That's the girl from three months ago! Really? You don't want to go up to the ruins? I don't know what you hope- You- oh, sorry, you want to go up to the ruins? I don't know what you hope to find there. Who's there? Okay, so it looks like we might be able to, to find out what's going on with her a little bit. Uh, I guess I need to, to go up to the, the ruins myself anyway, so let's uh, let's go and head up to the, the ruins then. That's where the- the Pokemon that looks over the, the entire town is uh, apparently up here uh, somewhere. So yeah, let's go and climb our way up here. Uh, hopefully see where that girl is. Maybe that girl is the Kahuna, do you reckon? I don't know. They said you can't miss them because they look like a Kahuna, but that didn't really help me out very much. Oh, look, she's still heading her way up here. I've caught up with her a little bit. I think she's got a Pokemon in that bag. You can't come out. We'll get in trouble if anyone sees you. What Pokemon has she got in her bag? That's the Pokemon that I want for my starter Pokemon. <laughs> Funny when we saw it earlier, it just looked like a sad face in a bag. That's like all we've seen from it so far. <laughs> right then, looks like uh, we've pretty much uh, arrived at the ruins. And whoa, is she getting like pulled by it? Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, do you think that's, do you think that's like the special moon Pokemon? I'm not sure. Like on the, the case of the game, let me look at the case of the game. It's right in front of me. Like there's a giant, Looks like kind of like a giant bat thing, and I and I wonder if that's like the first evolution of it there. Maybe I don't know. I guess I'd have to to see the sun like version to to see uh, whether it's uh, any different. I wonder what most people are playing. Like what 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 have you got? If you're getting the game or watching people playing it, did you go for sun or moon? I'm curious. It seems to be like most people are pretty split. Ah, never mind me. You have to help it, please. Save Nebby! <laughs> oh no! Pew, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> Those Sparrow are attacking it, but, but I'm too afraid to go out there. My legs feel like they might give out. Okay, right, let's go and uh, scare away the Sparrow. I mean, I don't have any Pokemon yet, do I? I gotta, I gotta be careful on this bridge, though. I don't wanna fall down here. And I don't have a Pokemon yet to battle them. Can I just, like... Knock them out the way. 
Oh no! Okay, it looks like it looks like I should be able to to save. I need a Pokemon. I need a Pokemon to defend myself. Oh, it's doing something. It's doing a move. Oh no! Destroyed the entire bridge. Who's this? Who's that Pokemon? Okay, well somebody saved me. I have no idea who that is. But those are some very elegant shoulder pads it has. <laughs> very stylish. And away it goes. Well, there's a lot of mysteries going on in this game so far already. <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? Who's that girl? And what's going on? Phew. Oh, oh, thank goodness. You tried using your powers again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it. You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. Um, sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time. And I couldn't even help you in return. Pew! Huh? What? What is that? Pew! You! A sparkling stone. It feels almost warm somehow. Please, forgive me. I'm so grateful for you helping us out in that dangerous spot. Who are you? <laughs> I keep asking her that. She keeps not replying. I think this stone must belong to you. Answer! Who are you? Stop speaking and tell me who are you. I've asked you twice now. <laughs> okay, well, I've got a mysterious stone. You obtained the sparkling stone. Da da da! Uh, you opened up the key item's pocket and put the sparkling stone away inside. Please, don't tell anybody about this. About seeing Nebby. It's. it's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. Pew! Okay, goodbye, mysterious lady. Thanks for the stone. Um, I'm worried we might get attacked again soon by some wild Pokemon or, or something. I know it's not much, I know it's too much for me to ask, but do you think you could see us back into town? Okay, well, okay, I thought she just disappeared then. Right, so we've seen Pokemon. We haven't got my first Pokemon yet. I was hoping to, to get it this episode, but that was certainly a, a very dramatic start to our venture. Um, our adventure even. So, uh, yeah, as I said, this is going to be the start of the, the, the Let's Play. I will be playing through the entire game from uh, from start to finish. So, I am looking forward to it. Hopefully, you are as well. There's going to be a playlist, so you can easily kind of just watch through all of these videos together. I'm going to be uploading them really regularly. Uh, there's also going to be a link down in the description to the next episode if you want to go and watch that straight away. But for now, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!